Hi friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back. Today I am going to show you guys how I make my slow cooker chili in my Instant Pot on slow cooker mode. You are definitely gonna wanna stick around for this recipe. It is one of my family's very favorite. So if you follow me on Instagram, sometimes I've posted all my stories on Sundays when I'm making my slow cooker Sunday meals. Every Sunday, I always make some sort of a slow cooker meal. And we have three favorites here in our home. There is chili, there is pot roast, there is taco soup. And then um, that is usually a repeat every month. And then sometimes I'll make like a different one, like a ham bean soup or a asobal de gandules or a chicken soup, it all depends. But today is slow cooker chili. And that is one of my family's favorite. Like the kids love it, my husband loves it. Everybody. All right, my friends, to make our chili today, we are going to be needing a slow cooker. I'm simply going to be using my Instant Pot in slow cooker mode. I have one onion chopped up and I have a little bit of cilantro. It's about a quarter cup. For me, I feel like there is never enough cilantro. If it was up to me, I'll just put cilantro on everything. <laughs> We're going to be using about two teaspoons of chili powder. Um, a little bit of adobo to taste. This is just to season the meat. I have two cans of the chili beans, one small can of tomato sauce. If you want to use the bigger one to make a bigger batch, you're more than welcome to do that. And the petite diced tomatoes, one can of those. And I always like to use a little bit of brown sugar, about a teaspoon. It just takes the acidity of the chili and makes it more subtle and really good. It adds a nice little sweetness to it. About two tablespoons of sofrito because I use sofrito on everything, y'all. And then finally, one pound of ground beef. I got the two pound pack, so I'm simply going to go ahead and cut this in half, use half and then freeze the rest. And we always love to pair our chili with cornbread. This is our favorite thing to pair it with. We've tried rice, sometimes we'll do like chips and stuff like that, but this is our absolute favorite, cornbread. I love the Aldi brand, however, Aldi doesn't always have that. It's more of like a seasonal thing. So when Aldi doesn't have it, I love the crusties. It's really good and really sweet. Really yummy cornbread. So now let's go ahead and get started with our Sunday slow cooker chili. All right, friends, the very first thing we are going to start with is browning our meat. One of my favorite things about the Instant Pot is that I can just use one pot for everything, sauteing, slow cooking, pressure push, pr pressure cooking, whatever, it's all in one, so less dishes for me to clean, <laughs> right? So I simply put my um, Instant Pot in saute mode, and I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. And to that pound of ground meat, I'm going to go ahead and add my flavorings. So I'm gonna put two heaping tablespoons of sofrito in there. I usually eyeball um, how much adobo I put to my meat, but today I am going to measure it for you guys. So let me start with one teaspoon of adobo and let's see if that's typically like what I would do. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of adobo. If you guys wanna add more, feel free to add more, but I'm just starting on the lighter side and see how that goes. And to this, I'm also going to add the onion, not the cilantro, just the onion. A little bit of cilantro gets in there, that's fine. But I like to put the cilantro in last. And we're just going to let it cook for a little bit. All right, so now that our meat is done browning, I'm simply going to go ahead and add my canned goods, my tomato, my beans, and my tomato sauce. If you want to drain your meat, you're more than welcome to. My husband loves the flavor of the juices that um, the meat, kind of, like the little bit of fat that comes off the meat, so that's why I leave it on here. But you can use a low, you can use a, a leaner meat, a leaner ground meat for this. So, but this is simply how my family likes it, so I just leave it in there. I'm gonna mix it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar. I'm going to add about, let's see, 
two teaspoons of brown sugar. And my chili. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of chili. If you want more, you can go ahead and add more. But my kiddos really don't like spicy stuff and they love chili, but they don't like it if it's too spicy for them. They like to be able to just enjoy it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my cilantro. I'm gonna mix everything together. Make sure everything is well incorporated. The sugar is all in there and the chili powder makes it all the way through. Now I'm simply going to hit cancel on my Instant Pot. I'm going to place the lid on the Instant Pot and then I'm simply going to set it onto slow cooker for six hours. You to me, whenever I'm making something in the slow cooker, I feel like the longer it is in there, the better it is. So six hours is just fine for us. I put it in there, I make the cornbread, which is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna do the cornbread, take care of other things, and go to church, come back, and then dinner is gonna be done. It automatically will go into keep warm, so I don't have to worry about anything getting burned or anything like that. And just like that, our dinner was ready to be enjoyed with minimal effort for a Sunday. So go ahead and give this slow cooker Sunday recipe a try and let me know how you like it. If you are interested in more recipes, make sure to check my recipes playlist here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.